it's Katie Farner, your director for the Sunshine State Superstars. I want to talk to you about something today that we're all going to experience at least once, a few, maybe even several times in our journey with Sensi, and that is discouragement. Discouragement is something that if you believe if you believe you are not going to experience discouragement while having a Sensi family or origami owl or pampered chef or 31 business, you are deceived. So let's just break up that uh, disbelief. So let's just break up that lie right now because you are going to experience disappointment. You're going to experience discouragement. Whether you are setting yourself, setting a goal for yourself that you don't meet or trying to earn an incentive trip that you don't earn or you have a frontline team member who promotes every single time you promote, they promote, so you're not getting paid on their downline. There are always going to be, I shouldn't say there are always going to be, but at points along your journey, there is going to be a struggle. There is going to be a discouragement. Maybe it's your, something happens with your spouse and he becomes really unsupportive of your business. Or maybe he's really unsupportive from the start. Um, maybe you go through a season where you are having to put your focus onto something else and you really can't focus on your sensey business. There are going to be things that are going to come along, obstacles, challenges, discouragements. If you give in to those things, if you let those things win, I can promise you that your business will crumble. If I had given up every time that I have had a discouragement or a struggle, my business would look nothing like it is today. Uh, when I first joined, um, I've never really talked that much about my sponsor um, on YouTube, but when I first joined, my sponsor was actually a family member and uh, a kind of a distant family member. And she did not recruit me. It just so happened that I needed a, somebody to sign up under and somebody in our family mentioned, oh, so-and-so sells it. You can sign up under her. So I thought, okay, I'll sign up under her. Um, so that was uh, a big mistake. I did not receive support or training. And as soon as I started to promote and um, once I got to the same rank as her and she stopped getting paid on my downline, uh, on myself and my downline, that's when all communication ceased and she stopped speaking to me. And even at family functions, she wouldn't speak to me. Um, and she sure would not talk about Cincy. And then, sure enough, one day she was canceled due to inactivity. So I actually did the math um, to try to calculate what she would have earned off of my team, my group, in 2013. So last year. she If she would have just stayed with Cincy and put in her 500 every month to be paid off of my team, she would have made $9,000 in 2013, just off of myself and my team alone, had she stuck with it. So I want to give you guys an example of how that was a moment of discouragement for me, having a unsupportive sponsor. And it, I'm sure it was a moment of discouragement for her when I started climbing up the comp plan and matching her for every promotion. So because she was short-sighted and focused on the immediate thing in front of her face, which was, I'm missing out on getting paid on my team member this month. I'm maybe two months, maybe three months. Because she was so focused on the short term and not the long term of, this is excellent. I have a frontline team member who is driven, who is motivated and who is ready to make her business grow. It might stink right now for a couple months, but down the road, this is a great thing. This is what I've been wanting all along. So had she focused more long-term and not short-term, her business would look totally different today had she changed her mindset. So I wanted to give you that example of how greatly your business can be impacted if you, by your choice, if you choose to persevere or if you choose to give up. So 
no matter what, no matter what challenge is facing you at this moment in your business, you have two options. You can either put on your big girl panties and say, you know what? I'm going to persevere. I'm going to push on and I'm going to do something different. Maybe your challenge that you're struggling with right now is you're not getting paid on your team. You haven't been paid on your team in months. You haven't been able to hit your 500. Well, I've got great news for you. August is 10% off. It's a great time to share the list of discontinued fragrances with your customers and get some orders in for some bars, people stocking up on their bars. Then we've got September, which is the premiere of our fall and winter catalog. Then we've got October, which is the best month in sales traditionally. You have the prime season right in front of you. Are you going to take advantage of that or are you going to shut down? The choice is yours. Let's say that you have a frontline who is promoting match for match for match. Every promotion you have, she matches you or he matches you. Maybe you're going through that right now. Okay, let's think long term and let's get our mind focused on recruiting and growing your front line so that way you are going to have stronger team numbers and it's going to allow your group wholesale volume to be high enough that you are not going to be matched for promotion for promotion. The stronger your front line, the better and the healthier your team is going to be. And the good news is that frontline team member of yours who's matching you promotion for promotion, all her sales count towards yours. So it's only helping you. It's only helping you increase your group wholesale volume. And focus long term. Think about what is ahead because of the fact that you have that strong team member. There are team members who have come and gone on our team who have been through this and who have left because they got discouraged and they left the discouragement win. I see it all the time. So I wanted to put together this video to talk to you about something that is really important. If you are struggling right now in your business with discouragement, with disappointment, Spend some quiet time alone and really think about your commitment level. If you want to get out of this spot that you're in, I guarantee that you can change it by increasing your commitment level to your business and changing a few things. And hey, I'm here as your director. You need some help, you need me to help you strategize maybe a game plan, that's what I'm here for. Reach out to me. I'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that it's able to connect with some of you who are watching it and encourage you to help you think long term and help you think big picture. So let's put on our big girl panties together and let's move forward, move on, and leave the, dis this, the discouragement in the past. Leave it behind us and move on. And the next time we face a discouragement, we're gonna be able to say, hey, I've been there, I've done that. I'm gonna keep on moving. I know I can get past this. Because you can. I can and you can too. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you next time.